Page 206. Activity 4. Taking Notes and Outlining. Part 1. The planet Mars has fascinated people since ancient times, and that fascination has continued to this day. In fact, these days, Mars is again receiving a lot of attention. If you watch the news, you probably already know that several countries have announced plans to put humans on Mars. Uh, both the United States Space Agency, NASA, and the European Space Agency, ESA, plan to do this by the year 2030. So, what's so fascinating about Mars? Why explore Mars and not other planets? After all, there are possibly more than eight other planets in our solar system. What makes Mars so attractive to explore? That's what I want to talk about today. Okay, uh, to begin with, Mars is the second closest planet to Earth. It's our closest neighbor after Venus, and for this reason, it's easy to see in the night sky. Uh, second, Mars is similar to Earth in several ways. It's a well-known fact that Mars, just like Earth, has clouds, winds, a roughly 24-hour day, four seasons, volcanoes, canyons, and other familiar features. Because of these similarities between Earth and Mars, the obvious question, of course, is, is there life on Mars? Well, we don't know. Most scientists think there isn't, but, and this is an important but, it's possible that there was some kind of life there thousands of years ago. Why do scientists think so? Well, um, in 2003, a critical discovery was made. Scientists found some very strong evidence that Mars had water, actually a lot of water, sometime in the past. They know this from analyzing the surface of the rocks where the Mars rovers landed. And the surface shows that there most probably was a large body of water there, probably salty seawater. Now, this discovery that there was water on Mars in the past is critical because without water, life cannot exist. And if there was water on Mars, then there's the possibility of life also. In other words, there's a chance that a long time ago, some form of life existed on Mars.